I like isopods and you should too. Here are five reasons that they make amazing pets. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm David, I'm joined by one of my Konya's pickles today. He'll be roaming around, probably being in this video. And I want to talk about why isopods make amazing pets today. I'm gonna to give you five great reasons why, because they are really underrated and especially in the UK, they are a growing hobby. So I want to explore that with you guys. If you like this sort of content, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It all helps me and it will help me make great content for you. Coming in at number five, isopods are very quiet. Other inverts are quite quiet, but they do rustle around, make some noises at times. Our isopods, the most you'll ever hear is a little bit of very light rustling. They're incredibly quiet, and I think that makes them a really good pet because when we have these guys who are noisy constantly, going to our isopods or a jumpy spider is like a complete relief and it's so much more relaxing sometimes. We love our parrots, but yeah, the quiet really is a welcome change. Coming at number four for isopods is no live food. Unlike our tarantula and our jumping spiders, we don't need to give them any live food. For these guys, we have to keep crickets, which we ain't big fans on, dubia roaches, some of which have become pets, and we also keep mealworms, which we don't mind, but again, live food can be a hassle and it's not for everyone. So with isopods, the way they eat is completely different. You can give them a little bit of veggies, a little bit of fish flakes, or you just give them leaf litter and rotting wood, etc. They're basically detritivores, so you need a nice rich soil substrate, and generally that's enough for them. If you want to give them a little bit of carrot occasionally or some inexpensive fish food, that's enough. It really is that easy, and having no live food or expensive food is a nice change. That leads on neatly to number three, and that is they are inexpensive. Now I have to put a caveat here, there are some isopod species that are exceptionally expensive, cough cough rubber duckies. However, the vast majority of isopods aren't that expensive to buy initially or to keep. For example, if you were to go for a very popular common species like the dairy cows, you can get 10 for three pounds. And then you can get them a small exoterra enclosure from Amazon, I have some in my Amazon store if you want to see an example. That's only gonna set you back another 10 pounds, a bit of substrate, a few pounds. You could basically have your own small isopod colony set up for around 20 to 25 pounds. And that cost doesn't really grow very much. That's what's really good about them. Honestly, if I had more space, I would keep loads more of them because they're just such amazing creatures. But that cost barrier really isn't there. And you, you will see it with other inverts as well, like jumping spiders or tarantulas, especially where that cost will really mount up. With the isopods, unless you like making themed enclosures like me, the cost doesn't really have to go that high. Weighing in at number two of why I think isopods make amazing pets is they are so low maintenance. And once you've got their initial setup down and you have worked out, done the research, worked out what sort of moisture gradient they need, there's not much you need to do with them. You just need to make sure you add some spring towels in there to keep things clean, you know, spot clean once in a while, change up the leaf litter once a week, maybe um, adding some fish food once a week, and just generally keep an eye on them, but they just maintain themselves. And I know this may change slightly when you have huge colonies, if you really want massive colonies in big enclosures to sell them, but from a pet perspective, the maintenance level is just, oh my goodness, the night and day. Again, I keep comparing to parrots because I'm so used to them, and I do so much with them. It's just a welcome relief that they just take so much little effort. So much little effort? So little effort. My favorite and number one reason why isopods are amazing is the variety and the fun. Now, fun may be a bit of a weird word to use, but hear me out. They come in so many varieties. It's amazing how many different varieties you can get. And if you decide you want to breed them, you can even mix those of the same species with different color variations to create your own. It's very interesting. I just love seeing my armadillion vulgaire wander around in the different colors. And then Sophie's got zebras as well. It's just amazing, the variety. And you just want to collect them. It's almost like a Pokemon thing. I can understand why people end up with big collections. But then it's also the fun. They're kind of silly little creatures. They will fall down, they will roam around, explore their whole enclosure, especially when they get braver. They will hold little bits of food, their little hands. They are just quite fun to watch and I find it in engaging. You can even handle them as well if you're very careful. They'll be quite happy to sort of walk around on your hand and maybe eat a bit of snack on it. They're just generally really, really cool and um, I really love them, as you can probably tell. So there's my top reasons for isopods. Do you have any others that I've missed? Please drop them down in the comments. But in the meantime, from me and a quiet sleepy pickles sat on my head, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and see you later.